Everybody, welcome back to Design in the Dark. I'm here with my friend um, Jordan Ayat. You never know what's going to happen when we start this show. Um, hello, this is my friend Jordan. Uh, Jordan, do you want to say hi, introduce yourself, um, and let everyone know who you are? Hey, everybody. I'm Jordan, and I'm so excited to be drawing with you guys today in fresco. Um, so who am I? Uh, I am a man with a dream, and that dream was to build a treehouse for the past two weeks in our backyard. Uh, some friends have come over, we've eaten some great food, and we've been building a tree house so we can just keep going with our adventures. That's yes. probably more than not, you guys needed to know about me. That's true. So Jordan is very imaginative, very fun, which is going to get into what we're doing today. Uh, if you've watched Design in the Dark, it's been a little bit different every time that we've done it. And today it is going to be so much fun. What we're doing is we will be creating a story together. So chat, you will be giving input into the story at every twist and turn, and Jordan will be illustrating live. Now the twist is, I can't ever see his screen. So chat, I'm gonna take your suggestions and give them to Jordan, and at the end, we'll plug it together to make an awesome layout for a book. So um, Jordan, before we get started, where can people find you on the social media? Uh, you probably the best place to find me is on Instagram at Iot. That's A Y O T T E dot Jordan. Iot dot Jordan. I post stuff on there. Um, I do a lot of uh, sketching videos. You can watch my process. I'll bake it down into a minute video. That's the best place to find me. Um, and yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys there. Yes, I'm very in love with the niche work of the grasshopper from James and the Giant Peach. Uh, uh -huh. Not a character you see illustrated a lot, but I absolutely love that he's there. Um, <laughs> so yes, yeah, so you can check out Jordan um, at uh, that Iat dot Jordan on Instagram. I'm actually reaching into my cupboard here because I forgot about this. Um, Jordan was a part of a collaboration project that we did um, together, and here is his piece right here, um, and here it is in the real world. Uh, we have it right there. So this hey. is a project that we did together called the Zeal Zine. Uh, it's a fundraiser for uh, nonprofits. You can check it out at zealzine.com. Um, I'm sure Ahmad will drop it in chat there as well. Um, and yes, chat, I have painted my nails uh, the color of the green screen. So they are now see-through and any color that I want them to be. Um, Jordan nails are painted skin color. Um, yeah. <laughs> gross. Oh, that's such a gross thought. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and jump in here right now. Um, Jordan, I am going to yes. cover up the screen so that I can't see anything you're working on. And today, chat, instead of having Jordan be completely in the dark, we are going to give him a bunch of clues and see if we can create something really amazing. So let's hop in, and I want to see all of your participation because we will need it. Uh, Jordan. Yes. I would Andrew, love can you. they see my iPad right now? They can see your iPad right now. So okay. I switched over. They can see your iPad. Um, okay. And what we want to do is we want to start, and we're going to set up a um, a uh, uh, artboard. <laughs> that's the yes. word. At eight and a half by eleven. So eight and a half by eleven, just a full page. Um, that's the kind of size that we're going to be working with. Um, I'm going to go ahead and real quick show you. So chat, you'll see a two up screen here. And that is right here um, is my screen. And over there is Jordan's screen. And yes, I keep looking at my monitor to make sure the scene's there. Jordan's window's covered. Don't worry about it. Um, my nephew is here. Hello, Donovan is in the chat. Donovan. Uh, Donovan's tuning in from Texas, just finished his online school. He's taken some art classes. So hopefully he gets to learn something today. Um, hello, Donovan. So here is the story right above me. So Jordan, we'll be um, working on an eight and a half by 11 and you'll be doing one side. And what okay. I want you to do yes. is you're actually not going to be taking up the whole thing. So we're going to have you split okay. it into a column. Um, so we're going to go right down the middle okay. of the page. So it's going to go right down the middle of the page. And I was way off chat, um, right down the middle of the page. And you were going to be using the left half. All right. 
Uh, I got uh, close. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we're going to do middle and the left half, and that's just where you're going to be working. Um, okay. And you can use the ruler tool to do that. And then from there, we're just going to make that same width kind of over to the top. Okay. So it'll look like an upside down L is is the, the big takeaway here. So we want like uh, an upside down L kind of going. Uh, and, and Douglas, yes, we you can watch the replay. Um, we definitely up top has a little bit about what we're doing um, in today's super chat interactive. So I will be calling on you throughout the entirety of stream uh, to give some input. So let's do a quick vibe check, everybody. We're going to turn some music on, get some vibes going. Let me know if it's too loud, if it's too soft, um, and we will rock that out. All right, cool. So Jordan, we have our L shape. Yeah. Oh, L shape. Hold on. Upside down L shape. Uh, upside down L shape. Yes. So think of like Waluigi, like that upside down L, and we want it Waluigi. to be. Yes, we want it to be half, so it's a little bit thicker. I see. I yes. think I did it. Cool. All right. So that is the shape. Um, it's not a relevant shape, but it is the shape we are working within. Okay. If that makes sense. Okay. Cool. Yes. So chat this is where it comes in right at the beginning we have a nice onomatopoeia so uh, coming over to my screen how this is going to work is i'm going to use a data merge uh, and data merge is basically putting in almost a mad lib so you'll see here i actually have uh, a nice document here with all of the different terms that i'm going to need from you chat to put in here so check this out what we're going to do first is we need an onomatopoeia from you Jordan, stand by. We're going to have you start with a little bit of lettering. Um, and so, chat, we need an onomatopoeia. Um, an onomatopoeia is something that sounds like it. So it's a kaboom, it's a slash, it's crack. Uh, a word like that. Go ahead and drop into chat one of those, and we'll pick one out of chat and incorporate it in our design. So, so there is a little bit of delay with the chat, Jordan, so we're going to kind of go back and forth. Um, so chat, let me know what onomatopoeia you would like to see in there. Um, and Jordan, just for reference, we have a hero um, that will be a, a part of this scene. Um, let's see, some things are coming in here. Okay. Um, and the word uh, crash has come in. So we're going to use the word crash. And Jordan, I want this to be kind of in the upper left. It's going to kind of be right if we're, um, if we're going from left to right. Crash in the top right is going to be um, where we start reading from and then going through to the side. Crash, do you say it again, top right? Yes, so crash is going in top right. Um, you said and, crash is gonna be top right? Uh, sorry, top left. Top left is where that's gonna go, the part of the L, so right over there. Top left. And it looks like we're hitting a little bit of buffering. Uh, sorry about that chat. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the music off and see if that helps. Um, it, it's a long shot, but we'll give it we'll give it a try. I'm also gonna close out a couple other little things. All right, cool. So refreshing might help, yes. So the word that we have here is, I believe we had crash. That crash. was the word, right, Jordan? <laughs> right. I, okay, cool. So we have the word crash, top left. Um, and next up in our story, I'm going to kind of read through so that we can see. So uh, crash, time was running out and name had to make his escape. So let me know a name, chat. This will be our hero. Um, and Jordan, we want the hero to be um, almost a kid, but not like a young kid. We want it to be uh, maybe like eight or nine. Think... Um, like maybe Jumanji age, but maybe like the younger brother of Jumanji, if that makes any sense. Um, and we want him to the right of the uh, top. So the, the top bar, we want him in that right corner. Um, and that will be like, he's kind of escaping. We want that like per perspective. So time was running out and he was trying to make his escape. So we want him maybe like mid stride kind of running. And chat, let me know what his name is and we will plug it in to our data merge. So uh, time was running out and blank had to make his escape. Um, next up chat, what we'll need for you, and this is a big thing, is the setting was blank and blank. So we're gonna need the setting next. And at the top, I'm gonna give you a couple options. Um, I've come up with a couple options and chat, you get to pick what those options are. So from these three options, we can either choose space, a dungeon, or a lab 
Uh, great. Okay, so chat, we have some awesome suggestions coming in here for the name of our hero. The one that I'm going to go with um, is, uh, I like Noah. Let's do Noah. Thank you so much, Ariana. So Noah is going to, oh, Rory is really good too. Uh, sorry, Kelly. Uh, that's gonna, that's gonna, oh, Hawk Drew. I like Hawk Drew as well. Um, <laughs> so, uh, let me know what the setting is. So our hero is on the escape. Uh, Jordan, it's in that kind of, uh, right zone and chat. Let us know what the setting is. So it's either space, a dungeon or a lab. Uh, let me know. There's still a lot of names coming in. Love that we're having this much participation. You guys are awesome. Uh, so let us know what the setting is, and I'll start art directing Jordan into where we want to head with that. This is Noah, right? Uh, yes, so this is our friend Noah, yes. Noah and Crash. Yes. Um, right. So the the setting that is looks like it's coming in, oh, pretty much resoundingly, everyone wants it to be a lab. My goodness, everyone wants it to be a lab. Okay, there's a couple dungeons. All right, so we will we go with the lab so here uh, i'm just going to type in uh, chat so you can see as jordan works on that you can see over here on my screen i'm literally making an excel document or a google uh, google uh, sheets document and what it's doing is it's going to pull each of these into the story where we've designated it. So you can see in the story, right, we have onomatopoeia, time was running out, and Noah had to make his escape. The lab was, and the next thing that we need is two adjectives. So let me know two adjectives. My goodness, everyone is still saying lab. They're about it. I love uh, it. So the next two, we need two adjectives. So two adjectives, everyone. Let me know what those are. Jordan, how are we doing over there? Uh, I've done some lab equipment. I did a little, here, let me give a little zzz, 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 zzz. So some lab equipment, crash. Cool, we should uh, have your screen else? up. Yep. So chat, if you let see his do. screen, uh, let me know if there's anything that feels off that isn't really on, uh, on par. All right, Noah is looking good, Ariana says. Um, and yes, we are resoundingly on the lab waiting we for some in adjectives. the lab. Uh, Jordan, can you talk to me about what's happening on your screen right now so far? Okay. So I have Noah, uh, um, he's got glasses and he's running from something. Okay. Uh, there's some lab equipment on the right and I need to do perspective lines actually real quick. Let me just do, I'm going to have him like running. In the lab and when you're talking about perspective lines what is that for someone maybe that's watching that isn't uh, familiar with illustration yeah uh, i'm gonna so it's gonna help me draw all the different types of shapes and boxes and uh, when i think perspective lines like let me just continue this line this line could just go into infinity and so anything that's over here would be very tiny and then when we're getting up to uh, noah then he's a little bit bigger so i'm going to kind of keep that in mind as I'm drawing the different perspective pieces. Cool, and we got a couple suggestions um, from, we'll take the first two from uh, Sam and Kelly. Uh, those are gonna be our two adjectives, and the two yes. that we have picked are slimy and drippy. Ooh, so um, I love it. While we're working with this, um, again, let me read this to you. So it was the last chance, oh, sorry, I got ahead of myself. The lab was slimy and drippy as Noah began to run. So we have him running um, and we want it to be slimy and drippy. So I'm thinking Jordan, maybe if there are, are there any beakers? Like what kind of science stuff do you have in there for the lab? I kind of just did a huge vat right now. Okay, cool. With like goop coming out of it. Great, could we do I can have it like, kind of covering, like sloshing a, out, yes, covering like a the ground. Yes, spill that's kind of gone, that's kind of spilling over. Yep. Um, and then maybe something like uh, some kind of ooze that's dripping from the ceiling. Um, and think, think of maybe it's acid that's burned through the floor above, right? Ooh, like an okay. alien where like the spit hits the floor and burns through. So maybe there's like a little hole that it feels like it's, you know, acid is falling through. Ooh, oh, Douglas, you got it. great adjective, alchemic, like alchemy, but alchemic. Wow, that's great. Um, all right, cool. So continuing on, um, let's keep going here. Um, so next up, the lab 
was littered. Oh, actually, sorry, I got ahead of myself. It was the last chance to finally save a person. So we want someone that we're saving. It could be a pet. It could be his mom. It could be whoever. So let me know who that is and we'll incorporate it into tomorrow. So last chance to finally save someone. And the lab was littered with, we need an object. And this object we're going to incorporate into our design. So any kind of object and Jordan will incorporate it into that design. Uh, and if the audio has desynced, it looks like it might have. Uh, if you go ahead and refresh the page, it might help a little bit. We are having rolling blackouts here in California, and so there may be some issues that we run into technically. Um, but if you refresh, it hopefully will ring sync up for you. Um, so let it, let me know a um, littered with objects. So over here, as Jordan works, we have our lab. The lab was littered with objects. TNX. Uh, what else do we have in here? Radioactive, Donovan says. Ooh, that that actually could be fun. Could we have it littered with like radioactivity? Like maybe like floating blobs that have um, like radioactive. Oh, actually, let's combine these two. From Donovan and Jay, radioactive rats. Ooh. So it was littered with radioactive rats. And just for okay. sake of time, we can make those um, like smaller rats or very simple rats. Yeah. Radioactive rats. Um, and Lynn, thank you. Oh, actually, Kelly, that is a great suggestion. Um, Kelly's uh, person that it's saving is his favorite stuffed animal. Oh, yay. I love that. Great job, great suggestion. And some other great uh, examples here. We have tennis balls, uh, merc mercurial. I think that we have some really great option for tennis balls coming up in a little while. So cutting back over to Jordan's screen, here's what he is working on. Um, and to recap, we have um, our onomatopoeia, which I believe was crash. Time was running out and Noah had to make his escape. The lab was slimy and drippy as Noah began to run. It was the last chance to finally save his favorite stuffed animal. The lab was littered with, um, what was the object we just, radioactive rats, making for a very complicated and dangerous escape. Now next, we are going to need a creature. Um, and there are some options for these creatures that I love you to pick from. And the three creatures that we can choose from are this, a mole, a dragon or a cyborg one of those threes and i think that somebody literally said mole in chat earlier so we want a mole a dragon or a cyborg for our creature so being chased by a mole um we haven't decided yet but this will be kind of the um top left right on that perspective almost like yeah. it's zooming toward the right um and so chat let me know if we want a mole a dragon or a cyborg very uh, fun. Jordan, how you feeling? I am having literally so much fun. Awesome. Uh, I've erased a couple things and I'm like, nope, we're not going that direction. But I am definitely excited to read this. Sweet. And it looks like... I love, um, the, I love the radioactive rats. Yes. I love that. Uh, it looks like Jordan has added motion lines perfectly. Great job. Um, the first three answers are completely spit. Um, uh, our friend says mole. Then we have dragon, of course. My mom says cyborg. <laughs> Hi, mom. Uh, my mom was watching super fun. Um, Donovan says a zombie. It looks like a cartoon. Mole. It looks like uh, let's do dragon. Let's do dragon. Let's looks do like it. a lot of people are doing dragon. Oh, so yes. the creature is a dragon. And just to recap in our story, um, the dragon was close on his trail. It was flinging objects. So what is this dragon making? So Jordan, I want the dragon to be in almost like a roaring, like it's spitting something out. So it, I mean, like it's breathing fire, okay. but chat, you get to pick what the projectile is. So you can give us literally anything. If you say fire, I'm going to be so disappointed because I want it to be fun and creative. So this dragon is going to be uh, throwing some kind of projectile. Let us know what that projectile is in chat. Uh, Jordan, can you describe the dragon to us a little bit? I guess yeah. everyone can see it. Can you describe it to me a little bit? <laughs> okay, so right now I'm doing 
the mouth just like wide open. Great. You said it's spitting something out, projectile? Yes. We're not sure what that is yet, but chat's going to give it to us. So you do want the mouth open to be able to like spit something out. Okay. So I do have, I'm going to do like a horn right here. Oh yeah, so like a nose horn? Something, we could do something fun with like the for, the horn that's on top of the nose. So there's a horn on top of the dragon's nose. Cool. Um, uh, so it could be a fun shape or whatever. Yep. Um, Let's see here. Ollie the says wings. rainbow swords. Um, we have gaseous spit wads from my mother. Oh, Ariana. <laughs> Ariana, that is going to be the absolute winner. Flaming tennis balls, Jordan. Um, he will oh, be, yeah. He will be spitting out flaming tennis balls. Uh, Jay, another great suggestion, cotton candy. Um, really really like fun. that. So we're doing uh, flaming tennis balls. Okay, flaming tennis balls. Crazy inflatable tube men. That's hilarious. Just like an endless stream of like arms flying. Cool. So we've got um, so those. Flaming. And again, chat, some of these suggestions will incorporate tomorrow. Um, we are doing the page today, and tomorrow we'll be doing the cover, which would be really fun. So uh, as you can see, uh, it looks like I'm working on my screen. Yes, I am. Uh, what's happening on my screen is again, I'm plugging this in to make a data merge. And I'll show you how to do that data merge as Jordan goes back and inks his design. Um, and it'll be super, super easy to show that going through. So Jordan, we got about uh, 30 minutes left. So a little bit of time, which is nice. Love it. Uh, I'm, Jordan, I'm honestly ready if we want to keep going. Cool. I, the, I mean, I think that... With the flaming tennis balls, like you said, I think we should do one on his horn. Um, okay. Like just sitting on his horn, but like a regular tennis ball that maybe isn't on fire. And then maybe one stuck in his teeth. But like make it like it so it's squishy. Like it's maybe like stuck like he accidentally chewed on it and it's kind of stuck in there like a piece of lettuce. And then a tennis ball. <laughs> I actually love that. That's tennis super fun. Ball. All right, cool. And yes, Sam Peterson and Ariana are very impressed with how fast you're drawing. I am as well. You've been drawing for a long while, right, Jordan? Every day. Every day, yes. Jordan's been are drawing you gonna get better? forever, and he gets better and yeah, better. Yeah, uh, this is kind of what my kids and I do. Oh, f uh, We love to come up with stories like this and then just sketch them out. Yes. Uh, so we have the dragon was close on his tail, flinging flaming uh, tennis balls toward Noah in a frenzy of action and peril. Um, next, we need one more onomatopoeia from you, chat. This will be the sound that the tennis balls are making. So let us know what sound the tennis balls are making. And Jordan, one of those tennis balls will be flashing by one of Noah's body parts. So chat from you, and yes, we'll data merge into InDesign. So uh, chat from you, I need an onomatopoeia, um, the sound that the tennis ball is making, as well as a body part that it will be zinging by. So uh, let me know those two. And yes, just for reference, as Jordan draws there on my screen, we are gonna be data merging from this document we have here into our InDesign story. Um, and then we also will use Creative Cloud to plug in Jordan's design into this break page over here. Uh, and yes, if I sound weird, it's because the second my camera turns on, I get the hiccups. So um, we'll be dealing with that for a little while. So chat, um, I agree, I agree. Swoosh is the answer. <laughs> I think swoosh just feels right for that. So our onomatopoeia is going to be swoosh for the tennis balls. Um, and Jordan, we want that kind of coming out of the mouth um, like following okay. the tennis balls. We want it to have you said a tennis stretch. ball passing by Noah. Uh, yes. A tennis ball is flying by Noah and it will be by Wait, one of his it. body parts. So let's see what chat says about body parts. So the word is swoosh. Okay. Uh, and we want that to have a bunch of O's and kind of stretch out. That's funny. Someone says, if there's a sound that tennis balls make, I feel like they make the sound. Boop. Uh, I kind of agree. I'd love to see a tennis match where they're hitting it. And instead of them going like, hey, 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 it just goes, because boop, 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 uh, that would make me very happy. So Jordan's working on that flaming tennis balls, doing the word um, swoosh, kind of growing almost like a downward dog to where it's swooping up. And then chat, I still need a body part from you.
um, name any body part um, that will be on Noah that this ball can be flying past, uh, just narrowly missing him. And then we'll move on to our second setup, um, which will be a little bit quicker. And I'll work on making this, uh, this a little bit better. And Jordan will work on inking things up. I'll show you how to data merge as well. So it's super fun. So chat, let me know a body part. What we're gonna do in the next portion is we're going to get a second setting. So I want a body part and another setting from you. Um, let me know those two and we'll see what happens. Um, ear. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to ink this up. Okay, cool. You just tell me. Cool. So uh, the tennis ball is uh, flinging by his ear. Is going to be uh, the location. All right. So it's flinging by his ear. The setting was littered with um, radioactive rat making for a very complicated and dangerous escape. The dragon was close on his tail, flinging flaming tennis balls toward Noah in a frenzy of action and peril. Swoosh, a tennis ball flashed by his ear as he twisted to dodge it. Got it. Um, so moving through back in a second location, um, our villain two, who will be um, uh, another villain. It can be uh, maybe a mad scientist. Um, actually, you know what? I'll just call this one uh, for sake of time. Jordan, let's do a mad scientist. Uh, so the mad scientist is going to be in a second location. Um, let's see here. Chat. Okay. Um, I love that. Can we do Jordan in a ball pit <laughs> that maybe he's standing in a ball pit? So it's kind of open backdrop and it's like his knees are just in a ball pit. So back in the second location, which is <laughs> just a ball pit. Gosh, you guys are crazy. Um, the mad scientists. Uh, let's see here. Mad scientist. The mad scientist um, was planning and plotting. As a mastermind and master of the dragon, every twist and turn, uh, every twist, turn, and uh, let's see, flaming tennis ball was precisely and methodically planned out. Each lever was programmed to play some part in stopping Noah from his escape. Um, lever. All right, so it looks like we have everything filled in. Uh, Jordan, do you feel like you have going, the scientist is in the ball pit and he's using levers to kind of control that dragon. So it's almost like a comic book where we have a section on top that's a dragon with Noah and then the side has that mad scientist. Yeah. Sound good to you. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and hop over. Um, Jordan is going to keep inking uh, and while he works on that, I'm going to show you a, a little bit of how to do a data merge in InDesign, right? So we're gonna switch over. Jordan's gonna keep going. Um, I'll keep his screen up there uh, side by side for you. And what we're gonna do is we are just going to go up here and I'm gonna download this as a CSV. That's comma separated values. Uh, and these comma separated values basically will just take whatever the title is here to these nice little um, uh, what's the word that I want? Uh, these nice little, uh, I literally can't think of words, cells. That's what I want. Uh, so each of these cells is a field, and now you can see that we have it downloaded right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hop over into InDesign. I'm going to go to Window, Utilities, and Data Merge. So in this Data Merge, I want to select my data source. So we'll select that data source. And I will write here, design in the dark sheet one. That's what I want. We'll select that. And you can see over here that it is now put in all of the titles that I had on that top row. So all that I do is I'm going to select where I want to put it and then click on that word, put it in there for me. So I'm going to switch back over to the screen while I put in all of these different fields to see him inking and going over his sketch. Um, Jordan, what's your process? right now are you still sketching are you going back inking where are you
Uh, so I moved to the scientist. He said he's in a ball pit. Cool. I'm trying to give him like, I'm trying to give him uh, a lever that he's pulling that is either releasing the radioactive uh, rats or unleashing the dragon. Cool. <laughs> and I'm almost done, but I am going to probably just kind of get a rough sketch going and then start inking the whole thing. Great. So um, as Jordan's doing that, hopefully you guys are being yeah, entertained probably. Uh, and watching. And over here, um, I'm working on, again, still plugging in all these data fields into our data merge. So keeping on that uh, right there. Saving. Setting. And Jordan, have you, like, has it taken you a while to develop style um, to figure out kind of like how you work or has it been something that has just kind of come natural with more practice? Uh, yeah, I would definitely say that it's a little bit of both. I think that um, I think that embellishing on different um, things, making the eyeballs bigger or just trying to draw trees every day is something that's really helpful. Um, I grew up watching cartoons and loving the of the whole thing uh and so yeah like I, I can't say enough to maybe looking at people that you really like and then seeing like what are they doing that makes it unique um and like you already have an art style if you're an artist i'll just say that because um the way that you draw is your style and and there are so many people out in the world that someone is going to be in love with your style Yes. That no matter no matter what you do, they're gonna say, "Oh my goodness, that's like my absolute favorite," uh, is what they draw. So yeah, I uh, I think that like hearing we're gonna be doing like a children's book, it was more of I wanted to do fun angles and bombastic looking characters. I love um, bombastic. But yeah, don't be don't be worried if if you're. Hey, we can we can throw that in if you want. <laughs> Uh, it looks like, yes, people are um, saying yeah, there are a you, lot of got it. So uh, it's just Dexter's lab vibes. There's a lot of Mojo Jojo happening, Pinky and the Brain. Sure. A little bit of those. That's fun. Um, so I'm still plugging in the different objects that we have here. Um, I believe, there we go, we have projectiles, our way of control, and then right down here, our name. So our hero name, and I think that that might be it. One more here hero name. Cool. So Jordan, as you are working on that, um, it looks like, uh, one, there might be some connection issues that are happening. Um, and he is using uh, an iPad to draw this um, for Douglas. Uh, so I'm going to click over to my screen, Jordan, while you start inking this and just show everyone how the data merge works. So each of these that I have created um, have uh, linked to that spreadsheet that we have made. And I'm gonna turn on the preview and you'll see all these words change to the actual terms. So there we go. So it's plugging in all of those things like a Mad Lib, right? Uh, really, really fun. So let's go ahead and read the whole story and then we'll go back um, over to Jordan's screen. I'll put them side by side there so you can kind of just listen. Crash. Time was running out and Noah had to make his escape. The lab was slimy and drippy as Noah began to run. It was the last chance to finally save his favorite stuffed animal. The lab was littered with radioactive rats making for a complicated and dangerous escape. A dragon was close on his trail flinging flaming tennis balls toward Noah in a frenzy of action and peril. Swoosh! A flaming tennis ball, um, oops, swoosh, a flaming tennis ball flashed by his ears as he twisted to dodge it. Um, back in the ball pit, Mad Scientist was planning and plotting. He didn't get a name. He's just Mad Scientist. As the mastermind and the master of the dragon, every twist and turn and flaming tennis ball was precisely and methodically planned out. Each lever was programmed to play some part in stopping Noah from his escape. Little did we know, looming around the next turn, Noah would face his biggest challenge yet. Lurking in the shadows, waiting patiently, was a huge blank. Uh, so that is just showing how easy it is to do that data merge back and forth. Um, as I flip over to my screen again, you can see that it's literally each of the terms that we have put in from our spreadsheet right here 
are flowing into this so that we use it as a Mad Lib to boom. Now we have our full story done. And yes, you can find Jordan on Instagram. Uh, that is where his work is uh, and where he likes to work. Uh, so you can check it out over there and flipping back over to Jordan's screen. He is now inking it up. Um, and Jordan, we've got about uh, 10 minutes left just for your reference and timing. <clears throat> and I'm going to drink some water. Sweet. All right. I have a question. Yes. I have a hat here that okay. I feel like deserves a number. Can you ask him what number uh, Noah's wearing? All his right, cool. hat. So Noah has a hat. Um, and Right here. Uh, he, I guess Jordan says he has a hat and he needs what to put is, a what number, number on is it? it. What number do we want to put on that hat? Um, also, as Jordan inks this, if you have any great ideas, pitch them to me. As the art director, I'll curate and help edit before it goes over to the illustrator. Um, but if you have great ideas to add to this, let me know and we can pop that in or we can incorporate it tomorrow. Um, so tomorrow we will be making the cover of this book. Um, and that's why, excuse me. That's why we put in a couple little details here of him saving his favorite stuffed animal, um, of the flaming tennis balls. We're going to incorporate that into the cover as we work on it tomorrow, which will be very fun. So let us know what number we want on that hat, as well as um, if you have any other suggestions for our story. How you feeling, Jordan? Still feeling good? Yeah. Sweet. Um... One of my favorite books, children's books growing up was, the guy's name is Milo. It's, and he goes to the doldrums, the Phantom Tollbooth. So oh, there's nice. like, there's like a little element of Phantom Tollbooth to me about this kind of design. Yep. Yeah. One of my favorite books. Uh, and chat, it does look like I'm having some connection issues. Did we get a number for his hat? Uh, we have not gotten a number his hat yet um but i'm sure that it will be coming in it feels like chat might be a little bit behind okay. because of some of the issues that are happening here again hot in california we're having rolling blackouts and so we've been having uh, a little bit of trouble all day so we're here and we're streaming and we're making an incredible super fun story um so if you want to over here you can follow jordan on instagram just at iot.jordan and that's the place that he is where you can see all of his work He's got some really incredible, super fun work, um, and Jordan actually spoke at CancelCon, the very first one. I know a lot of you are um, here from CancelCon or have seen CancelCon in the past, uh, but Jordan was a part of that. Uh, the number that we have, Jordan, is 99. 99 is the number. Uh, 99. Want, 99. And if you All want right, to, you um, again, on chat, um, Jordan has put some amazing stuff on Instagram. Go give him uh, uh, just a purple heart emoji on something to let him know that you're coming over to the Adobe live stream. Jordan, one of my favorite pieces you've ever done was the Super Bowl commercials um, where you were doing stuff for the Super Bowl commercials. And I remember Mr. Peanut, um, like they killed Mr. Peanut. And then he came back as like the baby nut, but you did like yes. a, a rest in peace for Mr. Peanut and I have it on the screen here. Um, can you talk a little bit about like your process when you're doing the kind of like caricatures of this stuff? Yeah. Uh, I think that when I heard that Mr. Peanut had passed away, I was just trying to get into the, okay, I guess that I'm leaving now. So I thought of like him. I, I think it's funny because in most cases, cartoons don't age. And so, but they had obviously said, oh, he's too old. He's not relevant anymore. So we're going to, to get rid of him. So it was more of going the commentary of, okay, I guess, bye. See you later. I guess I'm too old. Right. Um, and then it was just, what are some of the funny elements? Like the bag that he would have to do his business in and, the fun walker. I've always loved the walkers with the tennis balls. Yes. So oh, that's a little fun. theme maybe that continues through your work is tennis balls. <laughs> um, yeah. 
I think it's uh, it's funny to see some of this other stuff that you've done in here. So again, Jordan loves um, one Star Wars, loves Star Wars, has done some of this amazing 8-bit work, um, which is really fun. This is Kelly, who I believe is in chat, a nice little 8-bit um, for Christmas, I believe, right? A couple years ago. So I'm um, having some fun with some great 8 uh a little bit of Dick Tracy in there. Uh, Jordan does a little bit of everything, and it's super fun to see your work, a little watercolor. So make sure you go and check that out on Instagram, um, just iat.jordan. Uh, and for those that uh, didn't see or haven't looked, again, just on his Instagram right here, a little Star Wars, some Dick Tracy, nice little 8-bit work over here. Uh, and Jordan, what inspired your 8-bit? I know that you love like vintage gaming. Like Where did that come from? Um, so it might sound a little selfish, but I've always wanted to, like, what would I look like as a video game character or what would I look like as, as, uh, you know, something in the Looney Tune style. And so typically for Christmas, um, I'll make a Christmas card for our family and I'm always going, I'm going to do it in some style. So my goal is someday to do the Rankin and Bass, um, stop motion style. And I just have to figure out how to use the clay. Um, but that was really last year. I was saying, man, I, I got to do it. I have to make myself 8-bit and my family. So I really like how it turned out. And I ended up making stickers of it. And it's on my, you know what? It's right here. It's on my water bottle. Because I said, I got to make a uh, an 8-bit version of my face. That's rad. Um, so typically, it's just, what what would it look like to work on a style like this? All right. So Jordan, we have about four or five minutes left. Um, so oh, I'm almost done. Cool. So once Jordan's done, everyone, you, right? what we're going to do is, uh, Jordan is using creative cloud, um, which is what I'm using as well. And we have a synced up creative cloud folder. So Jordan is going to save straight out of his iPad into the creative cloud and we'll see it pop up right away on my screen. And I'll be able to incorporate it into InDesign remotely. No emails, no slacks, nothing needed straight through a shared folder, super powerful tool. Um, when you're collaborating with someone, like an illustrator doing a book. Um, something else that I need from you chat to put on this is what chapter of the book are we on? I'm going to put a little bit of text over here just on this side. So I need to know oh, what fun. chapter we are on. And then I also need to know um, what the title of the chapter is. So let me know what those two are. What is the chapter that we're on and what is the title or what are, what is the title of this chapter? I'm going to go and lay that out, Jordan, while we keep going, just so we have the type all ready to go. Uh, Jordan, do you have any questions on anything? Just like in life, just like general life questions. That was the most open-ended question. Do you have any questions Andrew, about Andrew, where am I? Okay, that's, I deserve that. <laughs> What's going on? I know, right? Uh, chapter number, who knows, we'll do a nice little divider here and then we'll have the title. So let me know what that title is. So one of the tips that I, that I, uh, share with like my students is, um, that I think that's it. Um, to do the best you can in the time that you have, right? If you had like three days to work on this drawing, you could, you could shade it and all of that stuff. If you only had 10 minutes, you could only do so much. So my encouragement is to do the best you can in the amount of time that, that you have, right? So we have our, you know, 30 minutes, 40 minutes here. And I'd say, you know what? This is not looking too bad for a choose your own adventure drawing. Yep. And there's um, really and Andrew, nothing. With that said. Go ahead, Jordan. Sorry. With that said, I'm ready to send this to you. All right. So what Jordan is going to do is he's going to go ahead and export that and upload it to his Creative Cloud folder straight out of um, straight out of the iPad. So I'm going to put it in a two up screen. And over here in InDesign, I'm going to go ahead and just make a holding box. And I'm going to place Jordan's uh, image in here. So we're going to command D. And over here, we have our assets folder for design in the dark. Once Jordan exports that and uploads it, we'll see it pop up right here in this window and I'll be able to place it. 
Um, and yes, uh, some people are saying a little bit of fairly odd parents in there as well. So it seems like you're doing exactly what's in my brain of a little bit of the mad scientist from fairly odd parents. What was his name? Um, Fingelberg. No, that was the, the one guy. Um, I think. All right, let's see here. Oh, I think something have happened. Uh, Jordan, are you there? It looks like maybe I have lost Jordan. Oh, there he is. We lost Jordan. <laughs> we lost Jordan for just a second. And uh, oh, here's my face in two places. Give me just a second and Jordan will be back. Uh, all right, Jordan. Jordan is back. There we go. Um, Jordan, can you go ahead and share your screen? I was doing my own little choose your own adventure. I loved it. You went on an adventure. Can you go ahead and share your screen for us real quick? I was with Noah and we were, yep. We were Noah was on track. an adventure. Jordan was on that adventure with Noah. Um, love that journey for us. All right. We are back with both those screens. So Jordan has saved it and put it into the creative cloud folder. Um, so I'm going to simply grab this box that I have over here. And with that box, I am going to place command D and you'll see it's already uploaded into our creative cloud folder right here on my screen. I'm going to double click that and it has placed it right into where we want it. Um, I'm going to change the fitting to fill proportionally and there we go. It's right in there. Um, I'm going to change the display performance to be high quality. There we go. And the suggestions that we have, we are um, chapter 10 of dragons and professors. Love that. So chapter 10, and then we'll have of dragons and professors. Absolutely love that. Great job. Um, also, Jordan, this is amazing. <laughs> I didn't even comment on it, uh, but this is the first time that I'm seeing it. I put it over here and it looks like we got right on track with where we wanted to go. Um, chat, let us know what you think. Um, do you love this? I think it's so great. Um, and it was awesome how quickly you could do that, Jordan, to really push it together um, and uh, make a final piece that fast. Very impressive. Um, so what we're going to do one more time, Jordan, are you Span. ready for our final reading? Oh, man, I'm ready. All right. So looking at the sketch here, let's read our story. Crash. Time was running out and Noah had to make his escape. The lab was slimy and drippy as Noah began to run. It was the last chance to finally save his favorite stuffed animal. The lab was littered with radioactive rats, making for a very complicated and dangerous escape. Uh, a dragon was close on his, ta on his trail, flinging flaming tennis balls toward Noah in a frenzy of action and peril. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Swoosh! A flaming tennis ball flashed by his ear as he twisted to dodge it. Back in the ball pits, Mad Scientist was planning and plotting. As the mastermind and master of the dragon, every twist and turn and flaming tennis ball was precisely a planned out each lever was programmed to play some part in stopping noah from escape little did he know looming around the next turn noah would face his biggest challenge yet lurking in the shadows waiting patiently was a huge and that leave you tomorrow we'll do more of the choose your own adventure and we'll be doing the cover so you'll have a whole bunch of different um different options to work with uh jordan what were you doing over there so i sketch in a little bit more Oh, sorry. I, I just wanted to do some gray tones. Nice. I had more time. Color it up. Nice. Um, so it's looking great. Jordan, in this process, great job. Uh, to chat, thank you so much for being a part of this. Thanks for helping us uh, this and make something really, really awesome. Uh, Jordan, was there anything that was difficult for you that felt like it was hard to communicate as I wasn't able to see what you were working on um, or things that helped a lot when I was communicating? Uh, I love all the suggestions. I think that like I started drawing way too much slime and then I started drawing way too many rats and then there was a dragon involved. So, I mean, you guys were watching, I had to move certain things over so I could get everything in there. Um, 
So yeah, it was kind of, where do I place it? But you actually did a great job. You said to the right, that's where Noah is. To the left is where things are going on. And then when we got to the ball pit, it was just a free for all. Uh, so yeah, a little bit of the spacing, I feel like was, uh, was some of my issue, but honestly, like that was fun. This is like what we do all the time where we're coming up with fun ideas. And, uh, this is very much a typical brainstorm where you're throwing pitching ideas, taking post-it notes, drawing a sketch. Is this what you mean? So it was kind of fun that we all got to have our own brainstorm. Yes. Um, people are saying Jordan is on boss mode. Donovan says totally amazing. Um, and I love that we communicated visually and didn't see what was happening, right? We got one, the illustration down, but two, we got the um, actual like spacing down really, really well. Um, it fits perfectly. And so this is a great way using Creative Cloud to sync with other people that you're working, use placeholders and just communicate what spaces they have to work with. Um, and then you can kind of uh, work within there. Um, Jordan, we have about five minutes left and I have a couple questions for you, um, as you keep shading this, cause it looks better and better. Um, what is, um, something that you would maybe advise to someone who is just starting out, just trying to illustrate, just learning. Do you have any advice for them? Yeah, totally. Um, so every great character, um, is, can I draw while I'm talking actually? Absolutely. Yeah. So let's talk about this. Uh, all of your favorite characters are basic shapes. Um, and so my encouragement to you is if you're trying to figure this out, don't be worried about putting them in a dynamic pose or something like that um, because everything's made of basic shapes. If I drew this, I think you guys know what character that is. Uh, if I drew this, you might not know, but then if I started adding a little bit of this, maybe some square pants, some hands and nose, maybe some buck teeth. Oh, right? yes. You guys Yogi can Bear. figure that out. So my tip for anyone starting out, there we go, is that just work with basic shapes. Um, one of the best things that you could do, and you probably did this in elementary school, is to draw a crazy shape and then say, okay, now I'm going to fill this in. I got to fill this in with some type of character. Um, and then another game that you can play is to do this, but then pass it off to your friend. So if you're wanting to get better, then you draw one part of it and the eyeballs, and then you pass it to someone else and they start working on it. Um, so yeah, just start with basic shapes and start building the forms. And you know, people don't care about anatomy if you're giving them a great picture. Um, there'll be the few, the very few minority that said, ah, his muscle is not correct. But man, if you can just give them a great picture, um, then people love that, so. Yep. And uh, looking again at Jordan's Instagram, um, if you guys go over there and check out that Instagram, which I believe Sam will drop the link in there for you in chat. Um, the thing that I always notice about your work, Jordan, are your noses. Um, Jordan, in a lot of his work, will do these like long square noses. And again, nobody has a nose like that, but it is like taking the reality and augmenting it to your style. So I really love that you do that. I think it's super unique and fun. Uh, so go check out his Instagram, give him a follow, and uh, look at his noses. That's like the weirdest thing to tell people to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jordan, do you have any inspirations that you could uh, tell people to look up, to research, to kind of get inspired by? Hmm. Um, so I was a huge fan of Hanna-Barbera. Okay. Because of the, the basic shapes that I, uh, that I was talking about. And they did just a great job with, you know, I think that we all want to be Disney quality and sometimes it can be difficult to wrap your mind around what they're doing. Uh, and so Hannah Barbera did a great job of um, just those basic shapes, but with really strong designs, really great angles and obviously great um, character voices. And then don't be, don't just assume that you've got to look at art books um, because everything is inspiration. Absolutely. Everything around you can be inspiration. Um, and so look at what your neighbors are doing. Take a look at uh, how many of you guys, when you were young, would fall asleep with your closet door open and you would see some type of monster in there. Well, what that was was just the shapes. So everything can be inspiration for you. And um, a lot of the stuff that I draw today are things that I thought about when I was a kid that finally now I have the ability and the opportunity to draw them. Uh, and so everything can be inspiration and 
uh, yeah, I would just, I think a lot of our old cartoons that you can watch probably on YouTube yep. um, are from a lot of those masters that figure out how to do it well. So take a look at the old stuff because whatever's old is new today. Exactly. So you can check out Jordan again, follow on Behance by clicking whatever button it is that's floating here or go to his Instagram, click that follow button. And we'll be back again tomorrow, 2.30 Pacific Standard Time. Uh, actually, it might be Pacific Daylight. I don't know. Pacific Time, uh, 2.30 Pacific Time. Um, we'll be back with Jordan. And Jordan, what are we doing tomorrow? Oh, so we are going to come up with the cover for our children's book. Um, so you can keep on throwing suggestions in of things that you would want to see on the cover, but we'll hopefully be able to get the bear that Noah is looking for. And we might use some of the other stuff that you guys have said. So right now, you know, toss something in the chat of what you want to see on the cover and maybe we can make that happen tomorrow too. Yep. And I'll leave chat up for the next couple minutes. Um, but we will see you all tomorrow at our next episode of design in the dark. Bye.